So what's it like to see in colour? Well, if colours could scream, I would be deaf. When I first met Campbell, he was an awful, angry lump of meat. Why he chose to study horticulture is a mystery to me. I thought that all gardeners should be happy. Are you enjoying your break, Campbell? I'm out of cigarettes. Would you like one of mine? I'm not in the mood for this, Anna. Okay. Yourself. How can such little creatures sing so loudly? Twenty-eight is such a lovely call. Their bright bodies are psychedelic, don't you think? Yeah. All parrots look the same to me. How can you say that? I'm colorblind. Really? Yes. Well, that's no reason to say that all parrots are the same. Even if you can't see their colours. Look. Look at how the patches and the shape of everything is arranged differently on each of their bodies. A 28 parrot is nothing like a Malie ringneck. Or the red cat parrot. Nor the western rosella. Or galahs. OK, crazy bird lady. And so, young man, there is more and more entertainment, but less and less joy. What are you searching for? Have you heard of CRISPR before? I'm already booked in with CRISPR. Oh, that's exciting, huh? Mm -hmm. Madness. You're about to see in colour for the first time and you're not even excited. Imagine if colours could be a power which influences the soul. Anna, to be frank, all this metaphysical talk annoys the shit out of me. I don't care. Life isn't sunset and roses. It's cold, hard facts. We don't have souls. When sorrows roll like waves of the sea, whatever my fate, I never knew what was good with my soul. My path has never been a peaceful river, Anna. All the best for your surgery, Campbell. Take time to enjoy the colors when you see them.
Holy shit! It took weeks before I found out that Anna died. A spider bite. A fucking spider bite. I took her for granted. I took the sky for granted. I took the trees for granted. I took nature for granted. Forgive me, Anna. Color. What a deep and mysterious language. Campbell thought that we didn't have a soul. But my wish through the language of dreams is that he slowly starts to learn that yes, yes we do. One day you're gonna see how yellow breathes happiness. How blue has a calming effect. And how red symbolizes love. My moods are always changing, Nana. I wish I could have seen what you looked like in color. What were your eyes like? What was your skin like? Your hair, and under every shade of light. Sunlight. Moonlight. What were you doing? What were you thinking? I don't know why, but I love seeing the moon in the daylight. If I could only catch the true colour of nature. I'd go mad. You are mad, Anna. But it is true, and she was right. You can only really experience nature's color instead of capturing or reproducing it. The magnitude of how color evoked feeling and brought meaning to her life was insane. And now mine. So what color brings out your best self, Mr. Campbell? Are you kidding me? No. There's a reason why we don't see the world in black and white. Eventually, when you can see, I'll be wondering which colours you choose to play with. It's all there to be admired. We live in a rainbow chaos, Campbell. Sure, the world is disorderly, but it's a colourful mess, isn't it? Colourful mess is one way of looking at it. Or rather, one way of appreciating it. Colour helps to express light. Not the physical phenomenon, but the light that really exists, which is that in our brain. It's a mechanism through which abstract internal processes and emotions are realized. Are you on drugs, Anna? <laughs> <laughs> no, dear Campbell. It's just with color, I really think I obtain an energy that seems to stem from witchcraft. Colour brings an energy into a room.
or to an outfit. Or a building. It's undeniable. And I can't wait until your surgery is complete. Because what we see and what we use is nothing less than magical. Multicolored, multifaceted, in a train of moods, like a string of beads, I pass through the manor, and every memory I had with you is now painted through many colored lenses, everything in its own hue, each showing only what you told me this whole time lies now in focus. For me, Anna, your soul is the radiance of the setting sun. I no longer see the routine of things. <laughs>